so since a person can borrow uh, using that whole life policy as the collateral, they can borrow against it, no credit check or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's one way that uh, through this strategy, you can help real estate investors. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. And we can help them a couple of different ways. So one way we can help them is literally instead of go, if they have enough cash value in the policy, um, they need to, for example, use for the down payment, they can go to the policy, borrow against that for the down payment. And then they could, and then banks also allow this. So if the bank asks you, Hey, where did you get this 20% down payment from? You could say, I got it from my whole life insurance policy. They actually like to see that in portfolios because it's because when you borrow that money, it doesn't decrease the value of it. Your, your money actually keeps growing even when you've borrowed that money. So you can use it for down payments. Now, if you have a lot of cash value in the policy, you could actually use it to finance the entire deal. So you're becoming your own mortgage. You go to your policy, you borrow against it, you buy a deal as a, as a cash buyer, and then you finance it to, to yourself. Instead of paying monthly payments to a lender, you pay it to yourself back into the whole life policy. And then when you do it, the reason why that's that's important to do it that way is that when you do it that way, you have two assets now instead of just one. Instead of trading cash for another asset, you have two. You have the whole life policy accumulating in value. And you have the real estate you're, you, that you buy that's also going to appreciate in value, hopefully over time. So you have these two assets now that are growing uh, and you leverage one for the other asset.